welcome to another cooking challenge slash mukbang today i'll be attempting to make rachel's famous trifle from friends and eat it the things we'll be needing for making this trifle are ladyfinger raspberries custard banana slices and minced beef oh and whipping cream now before we start with this challenge don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel I have everything I need for the trifle right here. We have some raspberries, banana, strawberry jam, whipping cream, and I'm not making the custard from scratch. I took the easier way out and bought some pre-made custard. And I couldn't find the exact ladyfinger biscuits, so I bought the closest thing I could find, which is this Viennese chocolate biscuits. And I already had the beef and peas at home. So let's start making the trifle. Cooking time! First, I start with the preparation of my minced beef, which I sauteed with salt, pepper, peas, and onions. Now it's time to assemble our trifle. I couldn't find the traditional ladyfinger, so I got the closest thing I could find. I'm trying to evenly stack them and keep spaces in between them for my strawberry jam. I take a huge chunk of strawberry jam and try to layer it evenly and, some, and squeeze some of them in between the ladyfinger so that it looks pretty. I am generous with my jam so that it tastes and looks good as well. Now it's time for the custard. I did not make it from scratch. I bought it from store and even though it's store bought, it's actually pretty good and as close to the real one you can find. And after putting the custard, I even it out so that it's nice and even. Now it's time for some fresh raspberries. I layer them in between lady fingers so that it looks nice and pretty. Next comes the beef layer, which I was not looking forward to. The beef tastes pretty good on its own, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to taste good with the custard. I evenly layer them and make sure there are no spaces. Adding the final layer of custard, and as you can see, I'm generous with my serving. We are almost at the end of our trifle. Topping the custard with some banana slices, I use two whole bananas for this layer. I'm evenly spreading out the bananas so that they're nice and even. The next step and the fun step is the whipped cream. As you can see, I'm clearly struggling to get the whipped cream out of the can, so I needed some external help. Ooh, white and fluffy. You can never go wrong with too much whipped cream. I try evening out the whipped cream so that it looks nice and pretty. Now some final whipped cream toppings with some raspberries and we're done. Now that we're done making the trifle, this is the part that I was not looking forward to, eating it. As Rachel said, you need to get all the layers. I didn't think I get, I didn't think I got all the layers. I don't think you can get all the layers. I, still, I didn't get beef. Just a second. I got beef now. Nasty. That looks so nasty. Would you judge me if I say I don't hate it? Yes, yes I would. So, the crowd's waiting. Like Joey said, what's not to like? Jam? Good. Custard? Good. Meat? Good. Do you actually really like it? Like, I mean, it's weird. The beef part is definitely weird because it's a savory bit. But you know, after dousing with so much custard and whipping cream and bananas, it kind of nice to have a bit of something to chew on so do you like is it do you like it do you recommend it or are you just okay is it okay which one is it it's just okay it's not something i want you to make but if you're a huge fan of friends like i am you should definitely give this a shot it's not as bad as it sounds or if you want to make youtube videos like me just for content so why do you like the friends so much Friends is my absolute favorite TV series. There's something about it that just makes me happy. I think I watch it a million times. I have all the dialogues memorized. I know what's gonna happen, but it's still fun. It's, it's still funny whenever I watch it again. And I started watching it maybe when I was 15 or 16. 
and I haven't stopped since. Like even till now, when I have my breakfast or when I'm eating lunch or dinner, any time I have food in front of me, I still watch an episode of Friends. I'm obsessed with Friends, like borderline obsessed with Friends. And uh, obviously, my journey started by watching Friends from Star World, like most of the people did. It's, it's, especially if you're in Bangladesh and they continuously show friends. So I just watched one episode randomly on Star World and I got hooked from then on and I actually bought DVDs of all the 10 series and watched it. So who's your favorite character? <sighs> all the characters are my favorite, but if I had to choose, I would go with Chandler. Chandler is my favorite. He's so sarcastic and he uses humor as a defense mechanism and I just love everything Chandler says and does and is and... <laughs> Some might say he's way too sarcastic. That's what makes him so lovable. Go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you're a huge fan of Friends and even if you're not. So I still remember there's this one episode of Friends. It's my favorite one, the one with the cop where Rachel, uh, where, sorry, where Ross goes and buys a new couch. And I remember watching that on TV and just laughing on my own so loudly that my mom got scared. So the trifle episode, like what do you like about this episode, uh, what do you like about this episode particularly? I love every episode of Friends. But yeah, so this episode is during Thanksgiving and you know as usual Rachel does not know how to cook and she's given the responsibility of desert and there is no backup desert which freaks her out. So she starts making a uh, traditional English trifle but the magazine got stuck and she made half an English trifle and half a shepherd's pie. And Joey and Ross discover that, but they te don't tell her, her that because they want to go to a super hot dance party with dancers. So everyone just pretends to like this, except Joey who actually really likes it. So yeah, that's what it's the story behind her famous English trifle. And when I was watching this episode, it was so funny, but I never wanted to eat the trifle. Look at me now. Sure have come a long way, haven't you? Another thing about this episode was really funny that how Monica's uh, parents don't really like Chandler because Ross blamed his weed habit on Chandler and that finally comes out and it's just so funny to watch. Do you want a bite of this meat trifle? No, thank you. I'm good. It's not that bad. I mean, except the meat part, everything's pretty well, but the meat part is a bit really weird. Yeah, when I saw this episode and when I saw the trifle, I laughed my ass off because it looked disgusting. And now that we made it, it still looks disgusting. It doesn't look disgusting. The idea of it is very disgusting, having meat in sweet custard and stuff, yeah. So do you think are you going to be able to finish this entire thing? No, definitely not, especially only because of the beef. What's your favorite episode of The Friends? Comment down below and who's your favorite character? I'm trying to get the lady finger. I didn't give it enough time to set, so that's why it's really runny right now, but I don't think setting would give it any much more better. Of course. <laughs> Did I get a lady finger? Yep. So bad. Did you guys hear about the reunion of friends that was supposed to happen but it didn't because of this whole pandemic? Are you, are you looking forward to the reunion or do you think it's just going to be another sad way to get money? It's never, they, it's not a sad way to get money. Everyone's, because there's a huge fan following Friends, as it should, because it's an amazing show. It's the best show ever. Mm. It is the best show ever. It's the best show ever. Mm. Stop. It's, nope. it's the best nope. show ever. Ever. So anything they do is amazing, awesome. So the reunion is going to be awesome as well. So Rachel and Ross, were they on a break? Yes, they were, they were on a break. And anyone who sees, says they were not on a break is just... <laughs> So what Ross did was right? What Ross did was wrong. As in he slept with someone else the night they broke up and they weren't even breaking up. They weren't even broken up. They were just taking a break. There's a difference between waking up and taking a break. Well, Stupid it's a Ross. It's, it's a controversial topic. It is not a controversial topic. What I'm saying is right. Whatever you're saying or someone else who says they're not on a break it's wrong so i really enjoyed making this video because friends is something that i love and doing something friend related just got me going and i hope you enjoyed the video as much as i did making it and if you did please subscribe to our channel like comment and share see you on the next one peace